Hey what's up YouTube, so in this quick video I'm going to show you guys how to bypass some of the screen time restrictions. So for those of you who don't know, one of iOS 12's flagship features is screen time which gives you as a parent personal insight on how you use your device but also lets you impose restrictions on your child's device, lets you see how they're using their device so you can appropriately set app limits as well as screen downtime. Well, I'm going to show you in today's video how kids are already bypassing this new feature that's implemented by Apple in two major ways. Now, there's two parties probably watching this video. The parents saying, what the hell is going on? How is this already discovered? Or the kids looking how to get past their screen time limitations. So I'm just going to do a walkthrough and do a demo of how easy it is to get past this feature. So this right here is going to act as the parent's phone. This right here is going to act as the child's phone. Now I'm just going to go into the settings app. If you don't know, you can just go right into screen time and turn on screen time. And that is the same splash screen right here. So on the parental's phone, I'm going to hit continue. I'm going to say this is my phone. And that's how easy it is to turn on. Again, both of these phones right here are on the same iCloud account. So on the child's phone, I can click continue. I can go, this is my child's phone at the very bottom. You can set a downtime, and for this example, I'm gonna go ahead and start it at 9.30 a.m. because it's 9.24 right now, and I'm gonna end it, say, at 10 p.m. at night. Granted, you can set this for any time that you so want. This is just for the example in this video. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and click set downtime, now you can set your app limits. So for the first hack and the most obvious one, it's hacking downtime. I'm just going to go ahead and set downtime. We're going to skip app limits for now, but come back to that. And then very lastly, as an additional option you can set up later, you can restrict explicit content or other privacy settings as well. So finalizing screen time on this phone, basically enter a parental passcode. I'm just using 000 for this demonstration. But essentially, that is it. Right here at the top, you can see five minutes remaining until downtime. So as you guys can see, pretty much five minutes remaining until downtime. I'm going to come back in about three minutes now, once this feature has enabled, and we'll get into hacking things. So there we are. It's exactly 9.30 when we set the downtime limit. And as you guys can see, all of the apps that are restricted are entirely grayed out. If you try to enter one, it says time limit. You've reached your limit on the App Store. That's the app that we clicked on. Click on a different one. It says you've reached your limit in the iTunes Store. So for third-party apps like games or anything else along those lines, now they're entirely blocked out. Again, you can set certain apps to always be able to be used, but one app that you cannot really restrict is the settings app and that becomes a key player in hacking screen time so now comes the fun part of actually hacking screen time and getting past these app restrictions so most obviously the easiest hack or bypass here is going into the settings app going down to general and going down to date and time now it's typically set automatically but if we deselect that and manually set the time ourselves past where screen time is effectively implemented so let's say 11:30, because as you guys recall from earlier in the video i had it set until 10 p.m well if we set it till 11:30, now when we go directly out of the settings app all of our apps are immediately available and can be opened i can launch into app store the itunes store or any game that i have installed and pretty much use my device again now, interestingly enough, if I go back into date and time and click set automatically again, I still have access to all of these apps, which is rather strange. So that's a quick and easy way to get back into accessing your apps if there is a downtime limit set. And then turn screen time back on. If, say, you catch your kids with this feature uh, disabled, so the first hack, like I said, is just for downtime. That's changing the time past the scheduled downtime. Now the next one I wanted to talk about is app limits. So for this example, I'm not going to set a downtime, but I am going to set an app limit for all categories 
and we'll set an amount for just something like one minute but you can set this to whatever you want so set app limit and again enter a passcode and now screen time is enabled with just an app limit and not a downtime now one feature of screen time is you can allow apps certain apps to always be used regardless of the downtime or app limits and you can choose from any of the stock apps or any of the third-party apps that you have installed now one app that I would think parents could potentially enable would be the App Store now this would be a good one to enable just so apps automatically update in the background because with it restricted nothing gets updated during the downtime or app limit time whenever it's restricted basically so again this app I could see parents enabling not really thinking that their kids could use it to get past these app limits so with this in place you won't be able to use any of the apps that are restricted that are currently installed but one thing you can do is just go into your recently downloaded go to your purchases and select pretty much any other app um, that you want to download and use for the first time so let's try to find a game so let's just say something like PUBG or Fortnite if you go ahead and download it wait for it to complete downloading and again this is assuming that you have access to the App Store and that Fortnite or any other app that you want to install was not previously on your phone unfortunately it won't work if you delete the app and just re-download it the limitations will still be in place once it's re-downloaded but this is for a new app that was not on your phone but as you guys can see the app limit is still in place but now I can go ahead and open up Fortnite even with everything else restricted again because it is a new app and the limit was technically not in place again as you guys can see it's starting to download it in the background now I'm not sure if you guys restart it screw it let's try it let's see if we restart and see if we still have access to Fortnite so I'm gonna do a quick restart real fast and I'll be right back alright the device is booting back up again the app limit still should be in place and yes they are everything else in the background is still in place now let's see if we still have now we don't have access to Fortnite. Time limit has been reached. Okay, so don't restart your device if you want to be able to use it. Again, like I was saying earlier, if you have the time limit reached um, and you delete the app and you try to just re-download it, it looks like it can be opened, but when you go into it, it says time limit reached. So basically what you want to do here to avoid anything is just delete any apps that you want to play re-download them after the limit is in place and you should be able to open them again like I said any app that's currently on your phone will not be able to be used but any new app that you download let's just pick one here like IMDB again in this example the app limit restriction that we set should be for all apps not just games or social media so this should be included but again since it's a new app we can go directly into it Anyway guys, those are just two hacks that I have for you today regarding screen time and bypassing some of the downtime and app limit restrictions. Again, this video, I'm not sure if it's entirely for parents or for kids, but in any case, that's just a demo of how easy it is to get past some of these restrictions on iOS 12. It looks like the app limit restriction is harder to get past but the downtime one is shockingly easy just by changing the date or time. Again, that's really interesting. Even with the app limits in place, you can re-download a new app as well. But again, that assumes you have access to the App Store. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope it was interesting. I thought it was pretty ridiculous how easy it was to get past these restrictions. Of course, before you head out, don't forget to subscribe and, of course, hit that thumbs up button if today's video helped out and you thought it was interesting. Of course, check the first link down below in the description as well for more information about iOS 12, the iPhone 10s, 10s Max, 10R, and more. Anyway, thank you so much for watching today's video. Let me know down in the comments section what you guys think of this new feature, Screen Time in iOS 12, and if you are going to be using it for your kids' devices. Anyway, thank you guys again for watching, but until next time, this is Tony, signing out.